Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. So I am going to be doing some swatches. I ordered actually two different shades of the foundation. So I'm going to swatch those two shades and let you guys know my thoughts on the new foundation. I have oily skin. So this is going to be interesting because this is a luminous hydrating foundation. It's supposed to be dewy and I just wanted to test it out to see how it performs on oily skin. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am trying something new with my sound. So if it sounds a little different, um, please ignore it. I'm still trying to figure out how to use my new microphone. I was just paranoid that I got the wrong shade online, but then I saw that they also released the foundation at Ulta and it's in stores. Some of the shades were actually already like running out and on the website on Anastasia Beverly Hills, some of the shades are out of stock. The one that I ordered on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website is the shade 270C and then the one that I purchased at Ulta is 300C. So I actually already wore the 300C because I got it before the one that I ordered from Anastasia Beverly Hills because I really just wanted to try out the foundation at least one more time before filming this video. I really like to try out complexion products more than once before I come on here and I review them for you guys. Um, but this time I'm gonna be using the other shade because that's the one that I got in the mail. And I think this actually might match me a little more than the one that I purchased at Ulta. They look really similar like super similar. Anastasia released 50 shades of this foundation, which is really amazing. So you would probably find your shade in this foundation. So the foundation is $38. They have different undertones, fair, light, medium, tan, and deep. It says that this is a medium coverage liquid foundation and a luminous finish. It's not supposed to be a matte foundation, which I have not seen a brand release a dewy foundation in a very long time. So I think a lot of people were excited about this foundation. I still wanted to try out the foundation because I like a more hydrating formula, but right now in the summer, I do tend to wear more of a matte formula because my skin does get oily very quickly. When it's not the summer, I do like to wear more of a hydrating formula because I don't like my skin to feel dry. I have only done like my skincare, which I just uploaded a skincare video. I'll put a card up here for you guys to check out. <coughs> So online, it also says that it's water resistant, long wearing formula, medium coverage, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, and it's non-comedogenic, um, which is really, really good because I do have acne prone skin. I used to have acne. Non-comedogenic products are really good for acne prone skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the foundation because it's already 2 p.m. and I wanna wear the foundation as long as possible. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed in. I'm gonna swatch the foundations now comes in this metallic packaging and on the packaging it does say vegan gluten-free alcohol-free clinically tested suitable for sensitive skin long wearing and no flashback there's a lot of things about this foundation which is pretty great so the foundation does come in a glass container and it also comes with a pump which I also prefer in a foundation and then right here on the side um, it does say in really big letters foundation it's just plain packaging but I do like that it comes in a glass bottle so this is in the shade 300 C this is the 300 C and then I'm also gonna swatch it here so 270 C I'm gonna apply it right next to that one so this one right here closer to my ear is 270 C and then this one is 300 C but when I do swatch them on my hand, I can see the difference. So this one up here is 270C and then this one down here is 300C. I feel like 270C is a little bit more warm and has a little more yellow. So to prime my face, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer. This is a new primer from Fenty Beauty, which I did do a review on, so I'll put a card up here if you wanna check out that review. And then I've also been using the Cover XX sex the cover fx blurring primer which is a pore minimizing primer i like to use that like in the center of my face where i have large pores i have to use a more mattifying primer because if i use a hydrating or dewy primer i feel like the foundation is gonna get oily super super quickly i don't want to be like an oily mess and i love how this primer feels
Okay, so I am grabbing 270C. So I found the best way to apply the foundation that I like to apply the foundation is with a beauty sponge. I did try it with a brush and I just prefer using a beauty sponge. This is the Equal Tools sponge. Sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder because I am using a new lens and I just want to make sure that I am in focus. So this is one layer of the foundation. I think it does have like a medium to full coverage. I think the coverage is actually really, really great. Really, really like the finish of the foundation. It looks beautiful. Apply another just like half a pump. So just going to... It feels really lightweight on the skin. Um, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey. It has like a really, really hydrating formula. It does dry down for sure, so it doesn't stay wet. I feel like it has such a beautiful finish and it really does look like my skin. And I actually feel like this is a pretty good match for me. Um, I might actually like the 270c more than the 300c i have a little surprise too i also purchased the loose setting powder so i really wanted to try out the new setting powders that they released along with the foundation launch and this is in the shade banana so the setting powder is also vegan it's gluten free non-comedogenic dermatologist tested alcohol free and long wearing so i'm excited to try out this setting powder you get a lot of powder this has 25 grams of powder so the loose setting powder is 36 dollars but you get a lot of product in here i can never find a good banana powder it's always too yellow so hopefully this is gonna be a good one i haven't tried it out yet this is gonna be my first time trying it out so i'm gonna do my concealer now and i'm using the Too faced multi-use sculpting concealer this is in the shade vanilla all right so i'm gonna apply the powder now this is so big I love it. The holes in the powder are actually really big. <laughs> Put some on the cap. See, so that is how the banana powder looks. Oh my God, you guys. This powder feels so freaking velvety. I like this shade of banana because it's like a very pale yellow shade. So I'm grabbing it on the beauty sponge. does have a little bit of yellow but it's not too much i mean it definitely set the under eye and i feel like it looks really really good and it feels super soft so i'm gonna go ahead and set the other side and then the rest of my face Alright guys, so this is how my skin looks set with the powder. It did do like a weird thing right here on my nose. I'm not sure if it's because the sponge was wet. It might be better to use this powder with a brush than with a damp beauty sponge. I love how this looks. I feel like with the powder, it does mattify the foundation. So if you don't really want it to look too dewy or luminous, you can definitely use the powder to kind of take away that shine or you can just apply the powder in just the areas that you want to take the shine away. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. I really love how the foundation looks so far. Be right back. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I probably took way too long to finish my makeup. I applied the foundation like around 220, 230. So it's been almost like around like maybe two, two and a half hours since I applied the foundation and just wanted to show you guys how my makeup looks right now before I come back at the end of the day and show you guys how the foundation looks. Overall, I think my makeup looks really great. It hasn't oxidized at all. It did crease just a little bit right here. I don't know, it just always creases right here because I have like a wrinkle or like a dimple that's very prominent right here. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Hey guys, so I am back. It is now 11.04 p.m. 
So this is how my skin looks right now. So I've been wearing the foundation for about almost nine hours. So I feel like that's a really good wear test amount. As you guys can see, my forehead looks really shiny. My cheeks right here. My nose is really, really oily and shiny. I didn't touch up at all throughout the day. I didn't blot or any powder on top. It did not settle into my fine lines. And also like my forehead sometimes foundation settles into my fine lines and this foundation didn't do that is really really good never really happens so i'm really surprised i'm gonna apply some powder just to see how it looks so i'm just gonna use a little bit of the fenty beauty setting powder it did come off right here around my nose because i rubbed my nose and right here on my chin because i ate so just want to let you guys know all right so as you guys can see that definitely took the shine away and i feel like it looks pretty good and this is how it looks without the powder and then remember when i told you guys that it did like a wear thing right here and it looks really cakey right here around my nose because i applied the powder with a wet sponge so right now it's looking really really cakey right here in this area and it looks really just like broken up you can see the foundation sitting on top of my skin actually like after setting the foundation i feel like it looks pretty good so i feel like if you have oily skin it's definitely gonna get really oily and dewy by the end of the day so i would probably wear the foundation just a few hours and then just touch up but this foundation is really beautiful i kind of wish that i didn't have such oily skin so that i can wear this foundation for long periods of time because i would be wearing this foundation a lot i personally really like the foundation i love the finish i love the coverage i love the formula of the foundation because it looks like my skin so if you have dry skin you might really actually like this foundation a lot so i would probably stick with the 270 shade i love that this formula is vegan gluten-free alcohol free if you have sensitive skin might be a good foundation for you to try out right now in the summer might not be a great time for oily skin to wear this foundation once the weather starts to cool like in the fall or like the winter i'll probably really love using this foundation so the anastasia beverly hills setting powder i actually really like this powder it feels very velvety soft and smooth and i really like this shade of banana because it's a very pale yellow shade and it doesn't make me look yellow i would definitely recommend the powder even though it is a bit pricey but you get a very large amount so it's gonna be hard for you to run out really quickly and this would be really great for makeup artists as well because i'm sure makeup artists will go through powder really quickly and this is really great because it comes with a large amount of product so far my favorite banana powder that i have tried out all the other banana powders i feel like they're just too yellow and i really like the formula of this powder as well it is vegan gluten-free non-comedogenic alcohol free lightweight i would say definitely try out the powder i'm definitely going to be continuing using the powder so yeah let me know what you guys think about the new anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation are you gonna be trying it out have you tried it out yet let me know in the comment section below i hope this video was helpful to you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to get notified when i upload a new video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it more love to you guys and i'll see you in my next video